Hey YouTube, this is Tom L with the Tom L Christian channel. There's a lot of deception going on at this very moment, and there are fake. There's a fake Mark Hardy. There's a fake Swift Passage. There's a. There's probably a fake Tom L Christian channel. There's a fake uh, Matthew Yeshua uh, Attack Dogs Lord Kingdom Ministries. There's a fake. There's there's a lot of fakes. There's a, there's someone is having someone who is truly a wicked hearted evil person is trying to deceive is is trying to toy with us deceive us and I just wanted to come on here and warn you all that if I appear it, that if there's a comment from allegedly the Time Hell Christian channel that's that's um sounds really cold or wicked or wicked hearted. And don't be surprised if that same person makes a video claiming, Aha! See this comment he made? Look how bad he is. See everyone everyone unsubscribe from him. Everyone turn away from him. It's deception. It's probably that same person that made that fake account. Now one way you can one way you can tell it's a fake account is if you click on that that alleged Tom L Christian channel account and see that it has no subscribers. Because my subscriber count is known when you look at my videos. When you look at their videos, they have like three subscribers or no subscribers or the subscribers aren't listed. Something's off. And and they'll claim it's a backup channel or something else. And it's just deception. It's just someone who has a really, truly wicked soul thinking they're doing the right thing, thinking that the ends justify the means. Yes, they're doing something wicked, but they think that something good will come of it. No wickedness. You, you, a good tree will not bear bad fruit, and a bad tree will not bear good fruit. Good fruit. You either have the Holy Spirit and you're led by God, or you're not. You're either led by God Almighty, chosen by God Almighty, led to make a YouTube channel by God Almighty, by Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit, or you're not. There is no in between. God would not lead you to come after other God's children. He would chastise and correct you like crazy, make you go through a whole bunch of trials, let you let you um, he'd, he'd hand you off to those spirits if you have pride in your heart. Until, until you learn your lesson, then you repent and cry on your knees and come back to the Lord. That's what would happen to those that are truly of the Lord that come after other Lord's children. Eventually, he'll just let them go their own path until they repent, and then they come back. These other people that never had God before, they're coming after us because they have their own self, they have their own sense of self-righteousness. They have their own sense of what God is. And to them, God is very legalistic. And, and ironically, a lot of these people are guilty of some really awful, wicked sins. And they come after us because we truly are serving the Lord. We truly are giving the truth out there. They don't agree with us because of what man taught them or what they've convinced themselves God is because they formed an image of God in their heart for something God never was. And so these people are going to come after us and convince themselves that they're right for coming after us so hard. I went down that path. I know what that feels like. I've gone after people and, and, and convinced myself that I was self-righteous in doing so. Do I screw up? Once in a while, absolutely yes. And I, and I repent, yes. Sometimes I come to conclusions, God smacks me in the heart, shows me that I did wrong, proves how much of a hypocrite I was, and then I repent, and then I learn from it, and I don't do it again. Why? Because we're still in our, fall, we're still in our fallen flesh suits. We're, when Adam sinned, this became a fallen and corrupt world. And our flesh suits, not our spirits, not our souls, our flesh suits are, are corrupt and fallen, fallen from grace, I mean, not fallen angels for anyone else that wants to twist this video. Fallen from grace. You know, they've fallen from, we've fallen from glory. We're no longer the glorified beings we were. We could have been wonderful glorified beings um, in the beginning, but Adam sinned and handed this world over to Satan. This is Satan's world right now. We're so overflooded with demons right now that if you go down the wrong path, listen to the wrong people, and don't check with God first, you too can become oppressed by these demonic spirits. The spirits of fear, the spirits of pride, the spirits of confusion, the spirits of anger, the spirits of self-righteousness, the Pharisee spirits, all, all different kinds of spirits. You have to be really careful. When we willfully sin, when we, when we willfully sin, meaning like when we screw up, we just repent real quick. I am sorry. I, I do. I, we all screw up. We all have bad days. We, I, this has been an incredibly rough day for a lot of us. I know that. I've talked to many bride members. Um, when, when, we, when, we, um, when we mess up, 
we honestly just lose our temper or we do something really quick that we shouldn't have. Yes, we're sorry. We repent to the Lord. We go, Abba, Father, God, please forgive me. And God already knows it. God already knows you're sorry. He's seen your heart. But those who justify their wrongdoings and point the fingers and accuse constantly, that's wicked. That's self-justified. They're going to say, he's going to say to that person, depart from me, you worker of iniquity, you that committed sin, you that didn't give me, you didn't give me your whole heart, depart from me into everlasting hellfire. That's not a joke. If you're doing things by yourself, off your own self-righteousness, you are going to be held to that account. And then, and then when you're begging for mercy, there is going to be like, did you show him mercy? Did you listen to any of the warnings that I sent my servant, Tom L. Christian Channel, or my servant, whatever, just, just name. I'm just using my name as an example because whatever. He'll, he'll say, did you, did you heed his warnings? Or did you keep coming after him? You know, it, it's just... And in, God allows us the free will of making your own choices so it can, so that way when, when we're like, oh, I won't do it again. It's like, really? When you were given the choice, you sure did it a lot. You never came to me with that. You never gave me your whole heart. You never repented. So we have to be following in the Spirit always. We can't be forming pride in our hearts. We have to repent always. And so just know that if you have this, these fake channels, these false channels coming after you, it's not. It's 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 not me, and you, and you always and you can always come to me and ask. I I'm available. Just uh, I'll leave my email address in 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 the, in the comment section below. You guys take care and have a good one.